sit back and relax. It is said that your birth month flower can reveal who you are as a person. Stay tuned to discover your and your loved one's primary birth month flower. Let me know if they resonate with you. Carnation is the primary birth month flower for January. Carnation flowers have ancient symbolic value dating back to mythological times. Perhaps best known as one of the official flowers for Mother's Day, it comes in a variety of colors. The meaning of the flower also varies depending on its colors. For example, a deep red color symbolizes deep love and passion, while a white one symbolizes pure love and loyalty. There are other meanings behind other colors, but these four are the most commonly associated meanings when we talk about the birth month flower. So, if you are born in January, you are a devoted and passionate person who loves deeply and protective of your loved ones. Violet is the primary birth month flower for February. They are delicate flowers that represent wisdom, virtue, faithfulness, and humility. Just like carnations, each color has its own meaning. Violets are among the first flowers to bloom as winter gives way to spring. In the Victorian era, violets were often sent discreetly to convey feelings of love and admiration. But most interestingly, the ancient Greeks traditionally used these flowers in making love potions. If you are born in February, you are a faithful individual who isn't afraid to speak the truth. You are wise and full of knowledge, yet you are humble. Daffodil is the primary birth month flower for March. Daffodils are trumpet-shaped, typically comes in yellow and resemble a six-pointed star. It symbolizes rebirth and new beginnings, as it's one of the first flowers to bloom at the end of winter, signifying the end of the dark and cold days. It is also associated with hope, joy, and resilience. If you are born in March, you are naturally an optimistic and happy person. You are dreamers and imaginative thinkers and like to bring joy to people around you. I am a March baby myself and find this resonates. Daisy is the primary birth month flower for April. It represents beauty in its simplicity innocence and through love interesting facts for you daisy flower closes its petal at night and opens again in the morning such an energetic and active flower and the flower is actually two flowers in one the center yellow florets and the white petals are different blooms entirely if you are born in april you are active, young at heart, and like things to be straightforward. Your innocent trait also makes you a trustworthy person. Lily of the Valley is the primary birth month flower for May. These woodland bunches are considered sweet and pure. The flower has a sweet aroma and is found in perfume and cosmetics. And interestingly, it was also used as medicine in World War I. Since it's shaped like a bell, these tiny white flowers are also popularly used in weddings. For example, Princess Diana and Grace Kelly are a couple of many others who used them in their bridal bouquets. As a person born in May, you are humble, with a good heart. You are also trustworthy, intelligent, and make a good conversationalist.
Rose is the primary birth month flower for June. Rose is another flower that comes in variety of colors. Again, each color will have different meanings, but the overall meaning for roses is love, passion, and devotion. Being one of the very well-known flowers, it is no stranger to being used in other applications such as skincare, medicine, and teas. If you are a person born in June, you have a dynamic personality and usually very charismatic. You are passionate and very good at debating. Larkspur is the primary birth month flower for July. Larkspurs are often confused with delphiniums. Larkspurs flowers have a single large petal, while delphiniums have four separate petals. The flower was used as a protectant against ghosts and magic in Victorian times. Larkspurs symbolize love, joy, and romance. If you are born in July, you are a naturally nurturing person with a positive attitude and deep intuition. Your sensitive and empathetic nature makes you an excellent listener. Gladiolus is the primary birth month flower for August. The flower has a long stem shaped like a sword. In ancient Rome, crowds would shower the winner of gladiator contests with stem of gladiolus. Gladiolus flowers are associated with honor, integrity, respect, healing, and strength. It is also the official 40th anniversary flower. If you are born in August, you have a strong moral character and drive to be successful. You are independent and enjoy being the center of attention. Asta is the primary birth month flower for September. Once a symbol of revolution, the Asta is now commonly used to remember soldiers lost at war. The flower looks similar to daisy, but purple in color. The star-shaped flower was sacred to the ancient Greeks and Roman gods. It is commonly used as a traditional 20th wedding anniversary gift. Asters are associated with love, faith, achievement, bravery, patience, and wisdom. If you are born in September, you are patient and brave. You are practical, open-minded, and loyal to the ones you love. Marigold is the primary birth month flower for October. Typically used in Indian weddings, marigolds are usually bright orange, red, or yellow. Their flower heads resemble pom-pom shapes and are said to bring good luck. Interestingly, marigolds also play an important role in the Day of the Dead celebration in Mexico. The flowers are believed to draw in spirits with their fragrance and bright colors. They are used to decorate grave sites, altars, and shrines erected to honor and remember the dead. Marigold flowers symbolize commitment creativity, joy, and passion. If you are born in October, you are devoted and passionate. You are charming and can be diplomatic in tricky situations. Chrysanthemum is the primary birth month flower for November. Chrysanthemum flowers come in several colors and forms but generally, they represent friendship and love, making them thoughtful gifts. These lovely flowers are also associated with well wishes, happiness, 
and rebirth. It is one of the national flowers of Japan, used as the emblem of the imperial family as a sign of health and longevity. Chrysanthemum tea was invented in China. Chrysanthemum tea has a sweet flavor and aroma, and it's a popular beverage in China, as they believe that chrysanthemums can promote a longer life and prevent gray hair. If you are born in November, you are creative and determined. You are a hardworking individual with a strong character, and you like to be fair to everyone. Narcissus is the primary birth month flower for December. They look similar to daffodils, but white narcissus is a symbol of innocence, purity, and unconditional love. Narcissus has a beautiful scent and typically blooms in winter. The ancient Greeks and Romans were among the first to grow and cultivate these delicate and fragrant flowers. If you are born in December, you are generally optimistic and adventurous. You are also practical and goal-oriented. I would really appreciate it if you can share the video and spread the love. Take a sneak peek into the world of digital art in my next video. You can learn how to turn artworks into digital formats without a scanner. Or maybe you simply enjoy looking at beautiful flowers. If you enjoy relaxing watercolor painting, I've linked my art playlist as well there. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, my loves.